What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today I want to talk about Google Ads Target CPA and our experience using it, how it works, what to look out for, because there is uh, some downsides to Target CPA, which I'm going to explain in the next two minutes, and there's some things you got to watch out for to make sure it's the right decision for you or the other smart bidding strategies. So with that said, let's dive right into it. I'm going to go into a live client account and um, that's running TCPA, and we'll kind of walk through how it's working for them and where it's not working for them and why. Okay, so we're inside a client's live account. This is a junk removal guy running $100 a day, Monday through Friday, and you can see here uh, 43 leads a month at $47 a lead. Now we have a target CPA set on this guy for $49. So here's where obviously the good side, he is getting leads that are quality at his that his rate his price he wants to get them at right he's getting the he's actually getting them cheaper he's getting 47 dollars leads when he's shooting for 49 now here's the uh here's the rub he is based on his budget and his tc his set tcpa here he's going to be limited on the amount the lead volume amount now this is what we run into all the time with target cpa is people will complain that hey I, I didn't spend my full budget yesterday or i'm way under this month on my budget i didn't spend anywhere near my budget the reason you're not spending near your budget is because you have a target cpa set on your account on your campaign and that 1000 percent throttles your spend so you're not always going to spend your set budget when you're running target CPA. So that should be expected if you're gonna run this strategy. Yes, it can be great. Like you see here, this guy got 43 leads, 47 bucks a lead, that's awesome. But he's he's done, right? I mean, he's not gonna get much more than 43 to 48 leads a month with this TCPA set at what it is and his budget at what it is. So he's pretty much capped, even though if you go over to search impression share, you can see here, he's only at 32%. So there's 58 percent still in his market that are not even seeing his ads 58 percent is huge it's a big pool of more leads that are out there in his market that he's targeting that are never going to see his ads because we're limited because of the target cpa that's set and the budget so that's just something you have to keep in mind like i said it's gonna be a short video guys something to keep in mind when you're running target cpa is yeah it can be great but you need to be realistic about it okay you can't expect to set it at 49 dollars a lead and then get 100% impression share and you know 200 leads or whatever he would get here 250 leads a month. It's just not realistic because you're you're putting limits, you're putting constraints on Google's algorithm telling them, "Listen, I'm not I don't want to pay more than $49 for a lead." So, here's here's the framework you have to follow, bid accordingly and try and get me as many leads as possible within that target CPA. So that's how it works and those are some things you got to watch out for when running target CPA. Again, we use it all the time. I'd say 85% of our clients are on target CPA just because it controls the cost so well on the cost per lead. But it does run into a problem when you're doing a volume play and you need more lead volume. You're going to run into issues. And the flip side of this is max convert. So this, this is max conversions target CPA. The other side of that coin is just max conversions, right? There's no TCPA. So that's you're telling Google bid whatever you want. I want the most amount of leads within my daily budget. And they're going to bid, I've seen it bid hundreds of dollars for a click. So you got to be careful. Um, but I've also seen it do really, really well on smaller budgets. Like if you're an auto detailer running $25 a day and you actually give it the time to, to work, which is 14 to 30 days, I've seen it do a high volume at low lead cost, max conversions. So there, there's caveats to both. Um, for the most part though, we use TCPA. I, you, I run max conversions on maybe, maybe a handful of uh, client accounts just because it's so unpredictable and, and some weeks you can have a bad week and it just, it just doesn't work and you get shitty results and then the next week it's back to normal. So I kind of tend to stay away from it, but you need to, when using any kind of smart bidding in Google, you need to understand that there's going to be limitations. Okay. You're letting a, a machine up learning algorithm do all of your bidding for you. So it's not going to be, well, I got 15 leads last week. And I only got 12 this week. What happened? What's wrong? There's nothing wrong. It's It ebbs and flows. That's just how Google Ads works. So you need to just have the right expectations in your head on what, on what you should be expecting when you're running these campaigns and know the limitations when you're running Target CPA. All right. Sorry for that rant. That's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions about Target CPA or what we're doing with it, 
drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to jump in there and answer it for you guys.